Good morning, guys. I got up at 3.30 just so I could make sure I had some fuel today. I have to get these guys fed. Uh, if you remember yesterday, I just fed them some dry hay and Mark's like, you better get them fed before these guys start in the morning because it could be all day finishing. And then I just realized, I hope that's not right in the way and I hope because I'm so tired I don't back up into it. They are supposed to be here by five. They ran into a bit of a snag last night at the very end uh, before I was, I called Cliff last night and uh, just to make sure what was going on today. And there was a little bit of a, there's a little bit of an issue with uh, a rope being jammed somewhere. So he seemed a little stressed and that's the first time I kind of heard him stress. So I hope today goes okay. The one good thing, it is a perfectly still morning. So if we can keep these winds down for another like six or eight hours, it'd be amazing if that, if that would happen. All right, I'm going to get going here. I hope there's no babies. Oh, everything is an icy, icy skating rink. Just got them fed and it's quiet. The guys just showed up and I think they're just getting all the equipment warmed up. Everything is a sheet of ice. I could barely get the feed cart started. The mixer made a horrific sound because it was covered in ice at the bottom. So I had to break through that. It's just, everything got wet and then froze. So it's just a challenge. The wind is still nil. So I'm praying we can get this up. Keep you posted. got these pulley systems on the bottom of the barn and literally Mark is gonna back up the tractor and pull the pull the roof on. I got pulled up so high and they got level the bars so it's gonna get pulled the same same way. So they gotta that's all down the other side so I gotta pull it up about four or five feet. They level it and then I can pull the rest of the way. He wants to talk to you. Okay.
So the roof is about half on. It's almost to the peak. And it's fussy because on this west side where the seam is, they've, they've got it attached to a rope and it's got to actually thread in through that seam all the way up and over. It's like a track. And then, uh, and then they've got to catch the rope at every, basically every truss joint to make sure the rope doesn't catch. So it's tricky. And they're trying to get this done before the wind picks up. So they're, I feel bad for these guys. I'm gonna go for a coffee run when we're done. Cause well, partly for them and partly cause I'm frozen. Okay, they're back. Here we go. that one off there's yeah. there's uh you want the two outside ones yeah just look at the yeah because there's that one still tied on there well, the third one's on? yeah all of a sudden uh, that's okay that's okay okay that's
roof is on. So happy I could cry. I won't. There's a lot of boys here. I think I might go get everybody coffee though. So I could use another one. I just got back from town and uh, I picked up some Timmies for the guys. But they're still working hard. I'm just staying out of their hair. Uh, grabbed Timmies for the boys on the crew and then I went to McDonald's. I went to two drive throughs yes. I uh, went to McDonald's to get Mark and I some breakfast because we have an eight and uh, the coffee is already, my tank is already empty so I needed refilled. So I'm gonna, he's already back in the field. So we are gonna have a breakfast date on the uh, Ripper. It's what we do. Okay, I'm never gonna begrudge my barn again because that looks like heaven to me right now. Wow. The roof went up pretty much without a hitch. It just took a long time because they had to be very, very careful not to catch it, not to wreck it. Okay, so you'll notice that the, there, there are no chimneys yet. They will come back in the spring to do that. Um, but other than that, and it's just a lot whiter, they do have to come back and uh, just ratchet a little more things inside down. But for now, it is ratcheted. It's got all the, the tension. It's stretched out to where it needs to be for, for proper tension. Uh, so it will not blow off if it gets windy overnight, which is good. Oh, I am so happy. The roof is on. And now the work begins. I have to clean this out today. I'm going to clean this out, see what time we're at. And if, if we're done in good time, I'm going to then clean up that pen. I need to get the side cleaned out because I'm afraid of babies. It's about 7 o'clock, so I've been up since 3.30, and uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm starting to get a little sleepy. But I did get these two pens cleaned out and bedded. And they're very happy. They haven't told me so much in words, but I think they're happy. Uh, this side I didn't get done, and they're coming back tomorrow to do all the ratcheting down like they did the ends they did the end walls like they did the important ones that they're coming to do the fine tuning tomorrow so they're going to be probably taking up a lot of the barn so um these guys aren't going to get cleaned out until hopefully thursday so i just bedded them again because they were soaking wet um the good part is there's going to be no moisture affecting my pack tonight anyway it's, so this stuff should soak up what's there a little bit and keep them fairly dry, whereas before I bedded them and then it snowed, so there was really no point to bed them. All my thanks go to the Schmidt construction guys, and they came, and you know, it sucks being on the emergency list because you know they don't want to be here. Yesterday, everything, I talked to the guys today, and everything was covered in ice, and we all know, even those that don't farm, carving into your car in the morning is annoying and just times that annoyance by every single thing you're trying to do when you're working outside and that was their day yesterday so yesterday took a long time for them because everything was covered in a sheet of ice uh, so i give them so much credit we only had five guys both days and uh, they did the work probably of 10. very thankful to them thankful to brightspan for getting this cover built as quickly as they did thankful for you guys because your comments and your good wishes have got me through this. Oh, I know what I wanted to share with you guys. So the builders, the builders made some pretty cool observations with the sheep. I'll take you back. So this morning after I fed, 
uh, the bunks were completely full. So the U's were right up to here, right up to the front. And there's the big door there. So when those guys drove in, like they weren't even to the door. So the sheep couldn't see them, but they could hear them. And they moved to the back of the barn, all of them. Even the feed was, usually feed keeps them preoccupied. They didn't care about the feed. They went to the back of the barn. They weren't stressed. They just were quiet and went to the back. Once this roof got finished, he said within minutes, because the one guy was working in here the whole time, he said within minutes, they started one by one wandering to the front. So I hear I thought they were just scared of the guys, but they weren't. They were scared of this guy. <laughs> so it was neat that they made that observation when I wasn't anywhere in sight. I didn't point it out to them. I just thought that was kind of cool. Anyway, I am beat. I can see Mark in the field still. Can you see him? That's Mark. He's probably soon done that field. Anyway, tomorrow I think is gonna be just start all the cleanup. We got a lot of cleanup to do before, uh, before these babies come, which could be any day. I would not be surprised in the next couple days we see some babies. I wonder if the stress just made them hold on to them a little longer. Anyway, I'm excited. Mm -hmm.